Good morning. Today is Thursday, the eighth day of Cheshvan, and we continue chapter twenty-six, the letter twenty-six in the Geras Hakodesh, the holy letters of the Alter Rebbe. We today, in today's class, we're going to answer another question that we began in the beginning of this chapter. As you remember, we talked about the Zoyar. It talks about the difference between the tree of knowledge and the tree of life, referring to this, the revealed part of the Torah as the tree of knowledge of good and bad, the mixture, mixture of good and bad. We asked a number of questions about it. And the, the tree of the teaching, the learning, this Torah of the mystical teachings, is called the tree of life. So again, we asked a number of questions about that. What, what does it mean? After all, we know that every part of the Torah is tree of life. It is connected with the essence of Hashem and so on. Also, we asked about a statement, what it says in the Zoya, that in the time and these days, um, the time of exile, the sages are sustained by the illiterate. And when Mashiach comes, the, the, they will be sustained on their own, and the illiterate will be sustained by the sages. And again, those this is the, the question he asked. What does that mean? We know that even in the time of the temple, the second temple, there was sages, and that that they were studied the regular revealed part of the Torah, and still they were sustained. They had they were many of them were wealthy. They were sustained by themselves. So those are the questions that today's lesson will be answered. So. What we explained yesterday was that when we're saying that the tor- that the revealed part of the Torah is connected with a tr- with a tree of knowledge of good and bad, the mixture of good and bad, it doesn't mean that the Torah Chas v'Shalom, God forbid, is the good and bad, but the Torah is dealing with the material world, and that is a mixture of good and bad. So there is the questions of, of good and bad, what is, what is permissible, what is not permissible, and so on. But the Torah itself is, comes from Malchus of Atzilus. As we explained yesterday in Lent, that the Atzilus is the highest of the four worlds. And depending on which part of the Torah we're talking about, they bring, they go down into the lower levels. And we said that the, the, the written Torah, the scriptures, goes down all the way to the world of actions. The Mishnah goes down to the world of Yetzirah. The Talmud goes to the world of Berea, the world of creation, the second world. And the Kabbalah it remains in the world of Atzilus, in the highest world. Today, the Alter Rebbe goes on, in today's lesson, goes on to explain further. Not only, not only the, does the Teira the revealed part of the Torah, referred to as the tree of knowledge of good and bad, because that the good and the bad we're talking about the 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 actual the the object of what the Torah is dealing with the low part of this world. But it but the truth is, in a deeper level, says the Alter Rebbe that the that the Torah itself vest itself into the lowest level. In a way, it's in an exile, in a mixture of good and bad. To understand this, just uh, 
uh, just to explain in the, in in the in a metaphor that the Friedrich Rebbe describes in there is a book that he wrote the Chinuch Adrocha, the rules of education and guidance. And there the Friedrich Rebbe writes that there is a difference between a teacher and an educator, we'll call it. Um, I don't know if in, in today's society we're f- so familiar with this, the difference between the two. But if you go to a Jewish school, yeshiva, you have the teacher. The teacher, his job is to deliver the academics, to teach you intellectual academics. But then you have the mechanech. The mechanech is like an educator. What, what does it mean by educator? Is the one who guides the person, guides the child to be a good person, to work on his character. Now, which one of the two deals with more loftier, higher part of the ch- of the student? Certainly, the teacher deals with the higher part. It deals with the intellect. It deals with the teaching godly stuff. The educator, on the other hand, deals with the very low level part of the of the child, of the student, because he really needs to go down and 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 deal with the very dark places sometimes of the child that the, that the every person deals with and he has to go step by step and dealing with with the character and see what needs to be improved and how to improve it and so on so he needs to go down much lower and it goes down with dealing with the low part of the student but who which so so that the, certainly the the educator goes down and deals with lower part of the of the child on the other hand though if he asks a question who is who has a stronger power who has a deeper who needs a deeper ability a stronger ability the teacher or the educator, certainly the educator that deals with the lower part, he needs a much stronger ability. And he has a stronger and deeper understanding of the, the teachings of the Torah in order to bring it down and to be able to deal with the darkness. And this is what he says about the part of the, the Torah. Now we're talking about the Torah that goes down to this world, dealing with the issues of what is permissible, what is not. It is a very high part that is able to come down to this world and refine this world. And this is what, but in the same time, at that time when the Torah is dealing with the lower part of this world, it is dealing with some things that are also considered darkness. And when a person deals with those things, sometimes there's questions that he's asking. And when you're asking a question, just like when you deal with a child and, and there's a question asked, so when you ask the question, it could be the teacher can for a minute think, wait a second, the child has me, he just asked me a question and um, he has to think for a moment. What is the answer? So the moment when he thinks about it, he himself is in a, in a way in, in a little in, in a dark place until he comes up with the answer and bring and he and he clarifies it. So this is what it means that you're dealing when you're dealing with the 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 material world, the Torah that is dealing with this world, dealing with questions and answers and darkness, and you have to clarify things is also is connected with the tree of good and bad that's what's happening now in the time of exile until mashiach comes then everything which is we learn in this Torah is learned in a, and understood in a whole new level in a much deeper level
So let's look inside and see the way the Alter Rebbe says this. Says the Alter Rebbe. Now, when Malchus of Atzilus is vested in Klipas Noiga in order to extract and refine the sparks that fell with the sin of Adam, so when Adam committed the sin, there was the godly sparks that fell very low into the darkness. And the Malchus of Atzilus, which as we said, the Torah comes from Malchus of Atzilus, the highest world. It vests itself in the shell of Naiga, meaning into this shell that covers the, the, the godliness, but it's Naiga, meaning it's a potentially can be, become elevated. So Malchus of Atzilus goes down to these places in order to refine those sparks that fell with the sin of Adam Rishon, as well as the 288 sparks that fell with the breaking of the vessels. This is right in the beginning of the creation of the world. It says there were 288 sparks that fell because God created first the world of more of a powerful light that a very strong energy that could not be contained and the cold in Kabbalah it's called it was the shvirat kalim, the breaking of the vessels because the energy was so much and those sparks fell down very low it is also indicated in the beginning of, Bere- of the Chumash Bereshis the beginning of the Torah, it says, Ruach Elohim merachefet al panei amayim, the Spirit of God hovers over the water. The word hovers, merachefet, makes up the, the two words, rapach met. Rapach is 288. Met means dead. That means a 288 godly sparks that fell into the place of death, into place of darkness. And how the job ever since of, of man is to elevate those sparks. So therefore, when the, when the Malchus of Atzilus invests itself so down into these places, Malchus of Atzilus too is then referred, is referred to as the tree of knowledge of good and evil relative to the air anpin of Atzilus. The air anpin is the small face, is the higher levels of the emotive attributes of the world of Atzilus. So the Malchus of Atzilus is the one that goes down. But the air anpin doesn't go. The air anpin of Atzilus does not go down so far, so low. And that is called, referred to as the tree of life. That's why the Kabbalah remains in Atzilus. Talking about spirituality. It doesn't deal with the darkness, with the lowest part. Now the investiture of the sphere of Malchus of Klipas Neiga is the Kabbalistic principle of the exile of the Shekhinah. The exile of godly spark that goes down so low, that is a terrible a, a pain for the Shekhin. It goes, has to, it goes down so low. And it says, where man rules over man and goes on to say to his detriment. That means that the lower man rules over the higher man. But ultimately, as we explained a, a few lessons ago, and ultimately it is to its detriment, meaning it's temporarily the lower part rules over the higher part, but ultimately it makes to, in order to elevate it and to refine it and to bring out the godly spark from the lowest places, as in the story of the exile of Egypt, 
when the Egyptians ruled over the Jews, and then ultimately the Jews were able to refine and to clean out the entire Egypt and to elevate them into good. Now Alter Rebbe explains a question that we asked before. But we said that in the time of the exile, the sages are sustained by the illiterate. So the Alter Rebbe is going to explain what does that mean? It means that those sparks that fell down so low they belong to the side of the illiterate they belong to the side of the of the darkness and the sages are sustained by it why because when you go down and you elevate that you go down to their level and you elevate those parts meaning this is what brings you the the, the by elevating those parts that brings you the sustenance that you're able to reach up very very high levels this is what the meaning of the statement in the Raya Mehem, the part of the Zoya, that says, While the tree of the good and evil dominates the world, these, meaning the sages, who are likened to Shabbos and festivals, they have nothing except what is given to them by those who are called unsanctified ones. Why? But because they are nourished by them, they're sustained by them. And he explains, This means that at the time of the exile of the Shechina, which grants life force to the Chitzonim, the outsiders, that belong in the, in the realm of Klipas Noiga from which the mixed multitude derived their life force, and from whose distilled essence the Torah scholars are nourished during the exile. And therefore, he says then, at this time, the main spiritual task of man and the main purpose of being engaged in the Torah and the commandments is to, to refine, to elevate the sparks that is known by the teaching of the Arizal of blessed memory. That's the main job today, is to refine those sparks that are that are vested in such low places. Therefore, for this reason, that the study mainly involves the liberation and argumentation on the laws of Isur, Heter, forbidden and permissible, the impurity and the purity. In order to refine to the differentiate and to elevate the, the permissible from the uh, from and and the pure from the forbidden and the impure how are you the eu no pilpul allah and the chokhmah bin adas this is by meditating and by by argue, the argumentation and by understanding the wisdom and then the knowledge can know that as it is known the Torah derives from So the spark of holiness that is hidden in a legal question can be extracted and elevated only through Chochmah. As we said before in the example, just like the educator, he has the Chochmah, the higher level that is able to go down and elevate the student. So the Chachma, why the Chachma ilo de Atzilus and Manubeshes and Malchus de Atzilus, says specifically, the supernal Chachma of Atzilus, which is vested in Malchus of Atzilus, that is the highest level that is able to go down and to elevate the sparks from the lower places. And this is Soy Toyo Shabal this is being the Kabbalistic principle of the oral law, the Soy Abba Yosad Bata. 
according to the Kabbalistic principle, which the father, meaning the Chachma of Atzilus, beget, meaning it founded the daughter, the Malchus of Atzilus. And now this Malchus of Atzilus is vested in Malchus of Yitzira, the, of, of the lower world. Amalobesh is Malchus the Yitzira. Soida Mishnayis, Ubaisis, Amaloboshes, Beklitas, Negak, Shekenegadu, Elema Yitzira. And this is the Kabbalistic principle of Mishnayis, the Mishnah, and the Braises. The Braises is are those teachings of the, the uh, Mishnaic sages that were not included in the Mishnah, called Braises. Braises means on the outside. So all of them, Amaloboshes, Beklitas, Negak, Shekenegadu, Elema Yitzira, they are vested there. The, and to in, in the clipas um, noiga, in the shell of noiga, the neutral shell, which corresponds to the world of yetzira, shashom matchil pchinas adas sheben noiga. Okay, the nusachacher, another version, the brayses, the malaboshes, the clipas noiga, shegen eged oilo meisir, shashom matchil pchinas adas sheben noiga. So some one version says it's the world of Yetzira, the other version says world of Asiya, which is the lowest world. But in any case, this is the explanation that the Alter Rebbe gives here about the teachings of the Torah, what it means that the Torah goes down to the lowest level, and the world of the good and bad. This is because the Torah invest itself into the lowest level to be able to refine and to elevate those things. We have to have, we have to have a very high power to be able to go down so low. And when you and this is when you go down into this level and you elevate, you are nourished and you are being elevated and even the higher world itself is being elevated by elevating those holy sparks that are Vested into the lowest places. So this is the end of today's year. And uh, as we said, we answered some of the questions. And tomorrow, Metz Hashem, we will continue with explanations of this Zoya. And again, gives us an understanding what it means to study the Kabbalah. You have to have the Hasidus. And uh, Bezat Hashem, join us tomorrow again. Any questions?